Hey Fire Signs, welcome to my channel. It's Indigo here doing your daily read. I hope you guys had an amazing weekend. This is for September 10th. Um, this is for Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We will get started here right away. Spirit and Angels, what messages do you have for Fire Signs? Hello. Way too many. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, in that order, the bottom of the deck card will be your uh, shared energy or overall um, situation. And I will pull male, female clarifiers as well. All right, we are ready. All right, Aries, the devil in reverse. Leo, the queen of wands. Hello, Leos. And the King of Pentacles in reverse for our Saggies. Bottom of the deck, beautiful death, transformation. And that's being clarified with the King of Swords in reverse as well. Okay. So, Aries, what a beautiful transformation you are going through. Are those clear? I hope so. These cards are so busy, but so, so beautiful. Um... So Aries, you guys are escaping or not really, I don't know why I said escaping, but some of you could be escaping, but some of you are choosing to leave your old life behind. You are choosing to leave any toxicity, any, um, anything that does not serve you, you are leaving that in the past and you are allowing this transformation to make you, uh, into the person that you know you're meant to be. This toxic energy, uh, does not serve you any good and you you realize that so you are no longer fighting this transformation i see a lot of you are fighting it and these females all right so um you aries males you have the two of swords in reverse to go with that so you had a choice you had a choice between two things two people two places two situations um you are choosing the correct one and allowing this toxic um, energy no more in your life. You are making a change for the better today. Beautiful energy for our Aries males. Aries females, you guys are putting an end to a earth sign male. Um, you are no longer going to entertain their, their space, their energy. They were toxic for you. They, um, they caused you instability. They caused you to some of you to neglect your responsibilities, your family, but you are no longer allowing this person to have that effect on you. And you as well are um, moving into your correct path. So very good day for our Aries friends. Leos, you guys have the queen of wands. You are leaving the past behind. Um, could be leaving a uh, somebody that lied to you a lot. Um, somebody that manipulated you and you are now, um, you're just now vibrating at your highest level. You, my friend, are making it out of the dark night of the soul. You are transforming into the person that you're meant to be in this world. Amazing energy for Leos. This Virgo uh, new moon, I'm telling you, the energy that comes with that is changing people, um, their thoughts, their way of seeing things um, into an amazing new path. Let's see your Leo males, Leo females. You guys had two cards, but I'm taking them both. Wow. Okay. So our Leo males. Um, yeah, like I said, you guys are both making it out of the dark night of the soul. You got the emperor. So you also are now vibrating at your um, highest level. You are grounded. You are centered. You are focused. You are successful. Um, some of you are finding a job today that's going to bring you financial security. Um, some of you are preparing to propose to somebody. Uh, could be another fire sign. But you're really just um, in the most beautiful self that you've been in your whole life, and that is because. You um, allowed this change, this transformation in your life, and now you are reaping the benefits. Uh, our Leo females, you had the two of wands come out and the queen of swords. So, uh, you had 
to make a choice of whether to work harder at this relationship or to move on. Um, and by you moving on and closing out this chapter, allowing this transformation, you picked the correct path. Um, you were at a crossroads and you had to choose whether to use your energy in someone else or whether to focus your energy within yourself and to work on yourself. And you are becoming successful at self-love, self-healing, self-esteem, self-confidence. Um, you really did pick the best path for you in allowing whatever it was to end to um, allow your old self to shed and now become this beautiful woman on the throne that you deserve to be. Sagis, you guys have the King of Pentacles with the death card. So um, for some of you, you're dealing with an earth sign. Um, this earth sign is ungrounded. They need to find their center before they can come forward. Some of you are choosing to leave uh, this relationship behind. Okay. And Sagi females. All right. Um, Sagittarius men, you guys are working hard um, on a new, a new path that you're taking. Uh, you're working hard at reinventing yourself and you are moving forward out of a relationship and you are gaining momentum. You are getting the hell out of Dodge and not looking back. You've put a lot of work into yourself. You put a lot of thought into this decision and you have decided to allow this chapter to close and to um, let go and let God. You really let uh, your inner self, your, your inner guide lead the way for you. And you're finding much success in that. Sagittarius females, you guys have showed up in your reading. So you are um, going through a transformation. You have put the past behind you. Um, this could have been an earth sign male that um, really shook your world up, that um, left you in the past uh, high and dry, and you have self-healed. You have found a beautiful balance within yourself. You have moved forward, moved on. And um, I do see for some of you, this earth sign is going to come back now that you're healed. But this is a beautiful card of healing and, and finding yourself again. It is also a card of patience. Spirit is telling you to be patient now that you have trans, um, transformed, had a spiritual rebirth, and you're waiting on this earth sign right now. They're out of balance. They need to find themselves. Be patient because they will. They will. Um, as soon as this card comes in the upright, they will return. Uh, this is also a card for twin flames for me. Um, when it shows up with a king or a queen in this type of reading, um, this could be a twin flame. They are still healing. They are still trans transforming. They're going through their spiritual rebirth right now. So just be patient. They're working at it. They will be coming. All right. Spirit and angels, what message do you have for our fire signs for Monday, the 10th of September? Look at that. Love yourself first. And I know I said that in more than a couple of those. So self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. You can't give out your love unless you know how to love yourself. Um, also, the bottom of your deck is very soon. Decide what you want because it's coming in for you. So um, continue to work on yourself. Continue to heal. Uh, what a beautiful combination. Transformation, spiritual rebirth, self-healing, self-love. It's time to love yourself first. Do what is right for you. Don't worry about what other people think. Don't worry about what other people want out of you. Love yourself first. Make the choice that's right for you. And um, and you can't go wrong. Also, boundaries. Make sure people aren't crossing your boundaries. Make them known to people. Um, because they'll take advantage of your kind heart if, if allowed. So, guys, I hope you have a... Beautiful Monday. Um, the energy is good. And uh, I think you guys will have a great day. So hope you enjoyed this message. I love you all. As always, I send you love.